so first of all, Milo has a question, and he wants to know, can you handle this cuteness? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, today I thought I would do a uh, swaddling video, not only show you how to swaddle, but also show you um, some of the swaddles I've used and my favorite swaddles. Um, so I have four different types of swaddles that I'm going to show you guys today and how you would swaddle your baby in them and which features I like best about them. Um, Milo is four months old, so he is getting close to not being swaddled anymore. They recommend to stop swaddling once they can roll from back to belly. Right now he can only roll from belly to back. So I know the day is coming soon. He's getting so close um, and I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do when we can't swaddle because he sure loves being swaddled. We'll do a slow transition though and um, I'll talk more about that with these swaddles. But you can swaddle with one arm out, you can swaddle both arms out, you can swaddle both arms in. So let's get started. So the first swaddle that I'm going to talk about is this. It's just a blanket. This is one of the Aiden and Danae blankets. Um, it's this huge square. It's muslin cloth. And um, I really liked these for when he was smaller. When he was a little itty bitty baby, it was really fun to swaddle him in um, like these type of blankets. But now that he's older, he can break free from them. And I just don't feel like it's that safe anymore because sometimes he'll get the blanket up around his head. Um, and it just obviously he wakes himself up because he unswaddles himself. Um, I, I still like these, they're, they're great just for a lightweight blanket, um, I use it to like nurse with in public, just kind of throw it over my shoulder, so even though I can't swaddle with these anymore, I still find them very useful. <laughs> he doesn't know about all this. So to set up your uh, huge swaddle blanket, I mean these are very large, so you're going to um, fold one corner down, and then you're going to place your baby shoulders at the top of um, the blanket. You don't want to place them too high because you want the swaddle to be around his shoulders, not around his neck. So you're going to place the shoulders and then you're going to put one arm over and you're going to bring this over and you're going to tuck it right under him, nice and snug. It's going to be snug. There is some gift to these blankets, so it's better to be a little snug and look at him. See, he's just he just likes to break free. Okay, you're gonna bring the bottom up and you're gonna kind of wrap that behind a little bit. And you're gonna put this arm over and you're gonna bring this side over. And you're gonna do it again pretty snug. And then you fold it underneath. And you've got your baby all swaddled. Um, depending on how you do it and the size of your child, you might have the swaddle blanket come all the way over and if, it, if you do have enough where it can come all the way over you can actually tuck it just right into here. Um, I used to do that but now that he's bigger it doesn't quite work that way. But there is our first swaddle. So when you swaddle your baby it's important to keep the hip area and the legs a little bit loose. So you want the arms tight and this part loose because you don't want it to put too much pressure on his delicate little hip joints, huh? Yeah. So tight arms, loose legs. After this swaddle wasn't working for me anymore, I ended up getting some of these. And this is, this is the Halo Sleep Sack Swaddle. So um, it's kind of like a sleep sack, but then it has the swaddling wings. And I will show you how this is done. So you're going to put your baby in. And you're going to put his arms through this little part. So this is like a sleep sack, basically. And you're going to zip them in. And, and then you're going to take, this is, what I, this is how I do it. I fold this over and I kind of fold it down a little bit so it's not too close to his neck. And I wrap that under a little bit and then I take this one and I fold it down again so it kind of creates like a little v-neck so it's not too close to his neck. So I'll tell you what I like about this swaddle and what I don't like about it. 
Um, what I like about it is that it is secure. You can get a nice tight swaddle up here and it's really nice and flowy down here. He has lots of room to kick his legs around. So I like that about it. Um, but that's about it. That's about all I like about it. So I mean, it worked for us. I used it for, you know, about a month or so, maybe a little bit more. It worked for us. But I just, I never loved it. And the biggest thing was he, up until recently, he pooped a lot during the night. So that meant a lot of diaper changes. And to take him all the way out of this, you have to undo it, you have to unzip it, you have to basically take him out, and then to put him all back in, um, it would really kind of wake him up a lot, and then it was harder to get him back to sleep. So I don't like how how, how not easy it is to change his diaper. Um, I definitely wanted something a little bit more simple. So. I went back on the hunt to find another swaddle. We have our third swaddle, which this one is pretty common. I think a lot of people probably use this or have heard of it. This is just the Swaddle Me by Summer Infant. And this is a pretty standard like swaddle sack. And I will show you how this one is done. This one looks pretty small, but it, it actually fits in really nice. So you put them in. You have this little Velcro spot that's gonna go right onto here. Yeah, do you think it's bedtime? You roll this behind his back, and then you have these two little tabs, and you just bring them over like this. So this one, um, again, I'll tell you what I like and not like about it. So I do like this swaddle. I feel like it's a little bit easier to use than the Halo swaddle. It's a little bit more simple. You don't have to zip them up. Um, Hi, you know, it's nice snug fit up here. It's loose down here, not quite as loose, which depending on what your baby likes, they may like it looser or a little bit tighter, but it's still plenty of wiggle room down here. Okay, what I don't like about it is his little hand sticks out. When he wakes up in the middle of the night, his little hand is cold, and I don't like that. Huh, his little hand is cold. So that's one thing, it's a little bit annoying. It's not that big of a deal, though. Obviously, when he's not swaddled anymore, both of his hands will be out. Um, the other thing is, again, when you change the diaper, you kind of have to take the whole thing off. You have to take this off. I just feel like it really kind of makes it up. Another weird thing about this, and I'm not exactly sure what this is for. I think it's so you can like, use it like in a swing or something and put the buckle through. But all of these types of swaddles have this weird little slit in the back. And it just annoys me. That's plain and simple. It, there's nothing. It doesn't. It doesn't change the functionality of the swaddle, but it's like there's a hole in my swaddle, and it's supposed to be there, and I don't like it. So now on to my favorite swaddle, and I I really wish I would have found this earlier because this is something that I really could have used um, from birth, and I think I would have would have really liked it um, for your whole swaddling phase of life. So first of all. The Ollie Swaddle comes in this adorable box. And who doesn't like things that are packaged nicely? So it comes in this box. You open it up. It's folded nicely in here. Not anymore. They send you a thank you card, which I like to be thanked for what I buy. That is so nice. Um, and then it comes with its very own washing sack. So you do need to wash it on delicate and on a low heat for drying and you put it in this little um, laundry sack and that's really nice that they actually provide that. So this is a cute box. I'm gonna actually probably keep this in the nursery. Milo, I can put his little keepsakes in here. Huh, you like your box? You like your Ollie Swaddle box? Yes, he does. Okay, so here is the swaddle. And this fabric, I wish you guys could like reach in and feel this fabric because this fabric is just amazing. It's like this stretchy kind of jersey feel on the outside and then like this soft like brushed cotton on the inside. So we have the inside of this swaddle is really soft and then the outside is like this, it's very moisture wicking. So if you get anything wet on this, it like almost dries immediately. It's very nice. Um, so it doesn't look like anything too spectacular. It's just a blanket with a bunch of Velcro on it. But the stretch this thing has, oh, I just love it. So we are going to show you how to use this one. Come on. 
my love. So you're gonna lay your swaddle down and it kind of goes up a little bit right here in the middle. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that is where you're going to put his back. I'm gonna put his arm down and you just bring this over. Actually, I have him up a little bit too much. So I'm gonna bring him, there we go. Okay. So you're gonna bring this over and then you put this arm down and you're gonna bring the tabs over. One, two, and three. And then this has a little um, elastic band down here. And you're just gonna go like that. Hi! Do you like your Ali swaddle? Um, I didn't actually do it quite as tight as I usually do it. Just because I didn't want to upset him right now. He's um, been swaddled and unswaddled many, many times. Right now they have the Nature Collection out and they have this beautiful blue pattern which is called Sky. They have a, a very soft lavender and then like a taupe gray called Stone. So it's a very beautiful collection. I love the Nature Collection. The muted colors are just very soft and relaxing. Um, and you can use this at any age because it's just so adjustable. You get a super nice tight swaddle Again, it's loose down here, and it's so adjustable in the length because you just put the band on. Um, so what's also great about this is super easy for diaper changes. You just open up the bottom. Um, sometimes I do have to unstrap like one of them or two of them, depending on what kind of pajamas he's wearing. But still, his arms stay swaddled. I'm not taking him all the way out of the swaddle. I do the diaper change and I put it back up and he is he's good to go it's not very disruptive to his sleep he usually stays completely asleep while I'm changing him and then that makes it really easy to just lay him back down and um, I also feel like it helps him sleep longer periods of time too um, which is great he's doing really good with sleeping so. so that is how you swaddle your baby those are the swaddles that I've used um, this one is my favorite. Um, I probably will end up, if, if I would have got this from the beginning, I definitely would have gotten a second one. Since I didn't get this swaddle until he was three months old, I didn't feel like I'd get enough use out of it to get another one. Um, but for the next baby, I definitely will grab another one of these. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you have any swaddling questions. Um, and let me know what your favorite swaddle is. I'm sure there's other swaddles out there that I haven't tried. Well, I know there's other swaddles I haven't tried. And I'm sure there's some other good ones out there as well. If you're interested in purchasing this though, I will definitely leave a link in my description because I'm telling you guys, this swaddle is amazing. It's um, a little more pricey than some of the swaddles out there, but I just, it's so worth it. It works so great, I love it. So um, Milo, do you have anything to say? just that he probably wants to nurse and take a nap. So thank you again. Subscribe to this channel and um, definitely look for some more uh, fun baby videos.